And here we're going to take another look at Dalton's law or the partial pressure of gases. So let's call this part two. And again, let's repeat the Dalton's law. The total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the pressure exerted by each individual gas if it was the only gas present. But in other words, if you have a mixture of gases, the partial pressure of each gas together forms a total pressure. And then we've learned also mathematically that the partial pressure of each gas can be calculated as simply being the ratio of the number of moles of the gas in question divided by the total number of moles present. So if we have two gases, we can say that the partial pressure of the one gas compared to the total pressure is simply equal to the number of moles of that gas divided by the number of moles of both gases or the total number of moles. But in addition to that, we can also say that since two gases at the same pressure, temperature, and volume, so here we have two gases in separate containers at the same pressure, temperature, and volume, they will have the same number of molecules. So there's a relationship between the number of molecules and the total volume. So if we then take an equ the equation PV equals NRT, and then we rewrite it like this, where we can say that the volume is equal to nRT over V. And then, if we then go and take a look at a container like this that has multiple gases in it, and we just want to know how much volume the one gas contributes as the percentage of the whole, and oh, I just noticed something here. This should be P, not V. I'm trying to get the P across down here. So if we now take a look, at the, the amount of volume that any one of the components contributes to the total, it will be directly proportional to the number of moles in that gas. So we can therefore say that the volume contributed by one of the gases, let's say gas one, is equal to the number of moles of gas one times RT divided by the total pressure. So since that's true, we can then expand this equation. We can then write that P1 over the total pressure, so the partial pressure of gas 1, is equal to the number of moles of gas 1 divided by the total number of moles present in the gas mixture, which therefore also has to be equal to the amount of volume that gas contributes divided by the total volume of the mixture. And so this is our extension of Dalton's law, that the partial pressure can not only be compared to the number of moles of that gas divided by the total number of moles, but also the amount of volume it contributes to the gas divided by the total volume. As an example here, let's say we have a, a mixture of three gases, not in the same proportion as the air, but let's say we have two moles of nitrogen, three moles of oxygen, and one mole of argon. You can then say that the amount of volume occupied by that gas is proportional to the number of moles they each have. So if there's only one mole of argon and there's a total of six moles of all of the gas present, that means that the argon only occupies one-sixth of that total volume. Now, of course, in real life, all the gases intermix with each other, but if you could put them into separate compartments to just figure out how much partial volume they contribute, it would be proportional to the number of moles, and it would be proportional to the partial pressure of each gas. So this definitely is a good thing to know. And there's part two of Dalton's Law.